If you want to grow on Twitter but you don't know how, keep watching. There's three simple steps you need to do. So the first one is that you need to tweet three to five times per day every single day. You cannot miss a day. You need to be consistent. If you want people to follow you on Twitter, or more importantly, buy from you, they need to see your face so often that they just can't escape you. Tweeting three to five times per day is the perfect frequency. The majority of your tweets should revolve around your service. So for me, my niche is short form content. So most of my tweets surround short form content. But if you're an Amazon SEO agency, your content should be surrounding Amazon SEO. One thing to keep in mind is that you actually wanna mix in some personal branding posts. So what that means is if you're going for a walk, take a selfie, take a picture of the weather. I do that a lot. Or if you're working late at night, take a picture. You know, it's like, you wanna mix it up. You don't wanna be just the short form guy. You wanna also be someone that people actually know and like feel like they trust. The second thing that you wanna do is minimum 10 replies per day to other people in your niche who are bigger than you. Aim for accounts that have like 10K or even like 2K followers plus, just like authority figures in your niche. Reply under their tweets and actually add value to what they're saying. You don't wanna re-say what they're saying in different words, you need to actually add something to it. If you can do more than 10 replies per day, that's even better. I was aiming between 10 to 15 replies per day every single day. And the key thing is you don't wanna do this all at once. You wanna spread it out throughout the day. If you keep leaving it till the end of the day consecutively, over time, you're just gonna give up. Because if you do it all at once, it's gonna take you like three hours or something. Probably not three hours, but you get what I mean. Hey guys, real quick, if you're an agency owner, coach, or consultant, and you're looking to grow your personal brand through short form video content, but you really just don't know how, or you don't have a lot of time, hit the first link in the description and book a call with me. I'll show you how we do it using two hours of your time per month. That's it, back to the video. The third tip is to do auto DM giveaways. This is super important, but you can't do them every single day. The perfect amount that I've found with me and my friends is one time a week or even like once every other week. That's pretty good. You don't wanna come off as too spammy because people are just gonna unfollow you. One bad thing about auto DM giveaways is you might attract the wrong type of people. A lot of the time, it's just low quality followers that are gonna unfollow you anyways. But I've actually closed deals from auto DMs. So here's one thing you should keep in mind. Make all of your auto DMs related to your service. So for example, I'm a short form video editor so I make auto DM giveaways surrounding short form content. For example, how do you record 60 short form pieces of content in two hours? Stuff like that. That's what books you calls and fills your calendar. Now, one bonus tip is to use Tweet Hunter to actually schedule out your tweets one week in advance. So I don't do this anymore, but it was super helpful when I was just starting out. Basically, every Monday, I would make a deep work block in my Google Calendar, and then I would just schedule out tweets for the whole week. This way, I only had to worry about Twitter replies and it saved me a bunch of time. One thing I commonly get asked by people just starting out on Twitter is how many Twitter threads should I be doing per week? So the answer is when you're first starting out, there's not really a point in doing Twitter threads. You should probably make one really good thread and then just pin it to your profile and make it related to your service. You don't really wanna start doing threads until you're more so like 300 plus followers, even 500 plus. Threads take up a lot more time and when you're first starting out, they won't really get too much engagement or reach. So it's best to stay away from that until your account is a bit bigger. Another tip, engage with people in your niche, but don't only engage with them under their tweets. You can also send them DMs. You wanna to try to build relationships with people that are around the same follow count as you because these are gonna be the people that are gonna constantly like your tweets and reply under them. When you're first starting out, I would really avoid those useless tweets that say, good morning, about to get the grind on or something like that. Those tweets are just stupid. You should try and make everything related to your service and then have like 33% of your tweets like personal branding, like pictures of yourself outside, playing basketball, stuff like that. Those engagement bait tweets are cool when you're a lot bigger. I don't even like them personally, but they work. So I'm not complaining. Following all of these tips, I literally went from 100 followers on November 8th to 1,257 followers on February 14th. I was in your guys' spot, like close to zero followers. I was at 100, but I've given this method to like 10 people and they all managed to hit like four or 500 followers. So I know it works. If you follow exactly what I said in this video, you're going to start signing clients. You're going to start growing your following and you're going to start actually making money online. Usually I hate those words, but it is what it is.
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And that's all. Peace out.